Guys, I was not gonna vlog today. It is Friday and I never vlog on Fridays. Is it Friday? Yeah, it's Friday. Friday. But something huge is happening and I have to vlog. Eric, only Eric, I was gonna say Eric and I, but like I didn't do anything but like organize some nails. That was helpful. Just is in the process of building a bunk bed for Flynn. I know. We already had that incredible bulldozer bed that was made by Drew when he did the bedroom for Flynn and for the babies at the old house. Flynn loves a bulldozer bed. He thinks it's the best thing ever, but we knew that eventually someday not in time soon. The boys are probably gonna want to share a room. Flynn always talks about already that he wants the babies in his room. He wants Wesley to sleep with him. They don't and they won't for a while, but we do think that the boys eventually will share a room and then Maisie will have her own room is what will eventually well, that's happen. Kind of our, our only option. Well, I mean, or they could all have their own rooms too. Like that's the other option. But Flynn saw, where did the, was the first time he saw a bunk bed? And he like, oh, my friend's house. Okay, so my friend has a daughter and she has a bunk bed or her sons have, I don't know, someone in her family has a bunk bed. My kid was on it. So Flynn went over to play with the kids and they had bunk bed and he was like, this is the coolest thing ever. He thought it was so fun. He couldn't believe it. And then when we were furniture shopping, when we first moved to this house, we were looking for like dressers and like side tables and whatever. And the furniture store we in had bunk beds and Flynn was like, I need this. This is, oh my God, it's so tall. It's so high. It's so fun. He was so excited. He loves his bulldozer bed. We love his bulldozer bed, but like he just couldn't stop talking about having a bunk bed. And even when we never said we were going to get him one, it was not even part of the plan. We knew eventually we'd want one, but he has not stopped talking about getting a bunk bed. And even when like people come over and see his bulldozer bed, he'd be like, yeah, but I'm getting a bunk bed. He has not stopped talking about it. So we got him one and Eric's building it right now and it's almost done. It has a slide. He's gonna Did freak out. He's bed? sleeping at grandma's house tonight so that we could build this. What? Did you have a bunk bed? Oh yeah, I had a bunk bed my whole life with Rachel. And it was pink and it was, like it wasn't wood, it was like metal. Oh yeah. I mean, and it like was like, kind. it had hearts on it. It had like little hearts on like the four corners and it like had so many like, it was like a light baby pink. I loved that bunk bed. I slept on that for way too long. Like I think Rachel and I shared that like well until like, I feel like I was in high school before we <laughs> got regular beds, but I loved that bed. Bunk beds are just so fun. It's like so classic and it just feels so like, oh my God, like we're parents of children. We're make, you made a, a bunk, bunk bed, bed tonight. Yeah. And so we still Friday have the night. bulldozer bed in case maybe Wesley wants it someday or Flynn changes his mind. But we know he's gonna be very, very excited about this bunk bed. So you guys ready for a reveal? It's not done yet. This is it so far. It's a beautiful gray moment, just kind of neutral. The slide's gonna go over there against that I wall. I guess we can put it wherever we want. Like, I, well, I think it should go against that wall. I don't think you should put the slide in the middle of the room. Right, yeah. Anyway, he's gotta put on the slide and the ladder. And then I asked Flynn what kind of bed sheets he would want. Flynn picked out this bed, but Flynn also, he's, okay, so we all know Flynn's favorite color. It was green for a very long time, I think because of trash trucks. And then it was red for a super long time. He was obsessed with red. Do you know why he liked red? There was some- Fire trucks. Fire trucks. So every day it changes. Like some days it's red. Yesterday I asked him what his favorite color was. He said white, like it's, it's different every day. But something that he's consistently enjoyed the last like two weeks is pink. Like if you give him an option of different colors of something, he wants the pink. Like today we made donuts and he wanted the pink sprinkles. He's really into pink. So he wants, pink to be incorporated into this bunk bed. So originally he wanted a pink bunk bed, but then he changed his mind and he just wants pink curtains on the bottom of the bunk bed or something. So I have to work on that. He also asked for bug or insect bed sheets. So I ordered those, they're coming in two days, but we're gonna just dress this bed tonight with his um, truck sheets. But we're very excited. We're building a bunk bed for, well, Eric's- slide. What? I mean with the slide. I've got, yeah, I gotta help him make the slide. Yeah, this is very exciting. I was like, wait, I need to film this. This feels very, like a big deal. I was not looking at a TikTok. I was trying to figure out how to download RuPaul's Drag Race you because Estetis is on it and Ariana Grande is on it and my friends are on it and I need to watch. No, feet up. Go straight to Dude, your bottom. Dude, this is scary. It's steep. This is very scary. <gasps> oh, I had to like, I was holding, you gotta try this. It's very much the steepest. I don't think I would, I don't think I would That's really scary, Steve. He's gonna be excited but terrified. Like, is that not terrifying? He's gonna bang his head. Uh-oh. It's pretty steep. He's it's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. Really steep. Ta-da! There she is. The bunk bed. So we're gonna put on bug bed sheets, and then for here, I'm gonna put on something that's pinkish, because he wants pink, so. Anyway, I'll go bossy. What's on my face? Okay, I got it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the next day, and I have made a curtain 
for the bed because he saw one bunk bed online that he really liked that had like a pink fort. And so he really wants a pink fort attached to the bed. This is like a shower curtain. <laughs> and this is an old like cape I used in an old Miranda show. So I've made him a little fort inside of his bunk bed and he's just gotten back from grandma's house and he's gonna see you for the first time. I'm so excited. There's a surprise in your bedroom. There's a surprise in your room. You think you have a bed? You wanna go see? Yeah, Let's yeah. go see. Okay. You can come in. I'll tell you when. We're coming in now. Keep them close. Keep them close. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. Open. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, baby? <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Do you want to go up on the bed? Come on, man, you gotta try it. <gasps> oh, that's my big daddy log. <laughs> what do you think? It looks you want, steep. Do you want daddy to help you down the slide the first time? I need the pillow first. Yeah, okay. move, why don't you move the pillow? Oh, oh you, you want the pillow first? Whoa. Whoa! So the first time I'll hold you because it's pretty steep, so it's gonna go real there fast. There you go. Okay. Woo! Woo! What do you think? <laughs> you want to try it? I think it? you can do it. I think you can do it. You like the fork, huh? Ding dong. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> what do you think? Cool. I think he likes it. I'm excited. Hello everybody, it's a new day. It's Sunday and I realized last night trying to go to sleep, I was like, oh my God, tour starts in a couple of days and I am unprepared. So um, I think Maisie's trying to watch a video of my brother and sister-in-law just posted a video to their channel of Disneyland because I took them to Disneyland. So, oh, Maisie got the camera. Anyway, um, they just posted that and so we were watching it right before I started filming and I paused it so I could say hello to you guys and Maisie I think wanted to keep watching. So anyway, go watch that if you haven't seen it already. Um, I took them to Disneyland for Christmas and we had so much fun. Obviously I posted my vlog, but my vlog was 10 minutes. Their vlog is an hour. So if you wanna see a literal movie about our time at Disneyland together as a whole family, go watch that vlog because it's, I've, I've only watched five minutes and I already love it, so I'm sure you guys will love it too. Anyway, last night I realized, oh my God, I'm going to Orlando, Tampa, and Jacksonville this week. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm not ready. This is insane. So I have a lot of preparing to do for that. And then I'm going to Thousand Oaks, which is in California, obviously. And it's kind of gonna be my LA show this year. I kind of do an LA show every year since I've been touring, other than like COVID times, obviously. And I'm not doing a LA show this year. So this is, counts as my LA show. So if you live in the LA area or just in Southern California, get to get to see that Thousand Oaks show. Anyway, uh, I'm very excited to go back on tour. We are doing the whole fun Florida thing. I'm excited to go back to Florida. I haven't been to Florida since before the pandemic. And so, um, <laughs> yeah, who is that? Is that a baby? Is that Maisie? So anyway, it's lunchtime, so I need to take her downstairs to have some lunch. The boys are already down there eating. I'm stressed about the show. I literally didn't sleep. I watched the sunrise because I was like, okay, just get some rest. You can focus on it tomorrow or the next day. Like, you just need to sleep right now. And I literally was just awake, like stressing about touring and leaving the kids. I always get really stressed out about leaving the kids. And it's a longer trip this time. Whoop, you, you, you wanna say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Talk to you guys later. We're about to get a lot more rain, and so we're enjoying being outside before that happens. You can tell it's very cloudy and it's pretty cold. They refuse to wear their jackets. They're such California babies that these puffy like snow jackets, they're like, how dare you put that on me? They don't like it. Do you like this? No. Flynn and Eric are running around the yard somewhere playing with a ball. And Coco and Moosey are here. And we're all just hanging out, enjoying the niceness before the rain comes and destroys us again. He says, 
he says, <laughs> That's accurate. <laughs> And Daisy is a kitty. She's kind of cute, but not very pretty. Daisy is a kitty. And she isn't very witty. And she says, She says, Oh, it's Quinn. Quinn is here, Flynn. Oh, what's in there? <gasps> oh, cuddle in your duckies. Oh, more ducks. Oh, cuddles. Duck. Duck. Good boy, Wesley, smarty pants. Cuddles. Oh, cuddles. What? Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. Okay. Wow, aggressive. You gonna share with Dada? Thank you. Good Aww, sharing. Cuddles. Oh, cuddles with your ducky. You want a duck? Duck. Whoa. Da 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 da. Yeah, right here. You sharing? Oh, you shared your ducky with Leslie. Good girl. That was so sweet, Maisie Jo. So as you guys have seen, Maisie loves cuddles. She loves grabbing things and we go cuddles. And whenever she does it, we go. Yeah, so now, whenever <laughs> we notice that whenever we say cuddles, whenever she does it, we go, aww, cuddles, aww. And so now she says, aww, every time she cuddles. Aww, aww. cuddles, aww. Isn't that so cute? <gasps> So one of my best friends, Christina, came over. She has a son, Quinn, who is just a couple months younger than Flynn. Quinn and Flynn, and actually we had the same due date, or very, our due dates were very, very close together. And then he came a month early, and Quinn came late. Now they're two months apart. Weren't our due dates on the same day, or like a couple days apart or something, Teeny? Originally, yes, and then it changed. Anyway, Quinn and Flynn are besties, and I think that's the cutest thing ever. Quinn and Flynn, get out of here. You guys having fun? Yeah. What you doing? We're folding, folding up our blankets. Oh, nice. The folding. So we got Quinn these things that you get to go inside of, and they blow them up, and then you can like bang and do. I actually did a video with JoJo, I think, in those ones. Why did you get my kid that? Because he's always <laughs> getting injured. Teeny is one of the best moms that I know. <laughs> Quinn. Here. What? Gus can be out here. Gus can be out here? Uh, yeah, how many times have you so gone? So much time. So much time going to the ER. That's how so many times, times you've gone to the ER? Oh, so much time. I put my glimmy in my bowl. It wasn't in my hand the whole time. It was yeah. in my bowl of the crunchies. That penny's been in your hand this whole time? No, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was still in your hand. Flynn was in his room like an hour ago and was like, look, this is my $100. And we're like, put it somewhere safe. He's like, I'm gonna keep it in my hand. And we're like, you're gonna lose it if it's in your hand. But it's been in your hand this whole time. I'm very impressed. So anyway, uh, Quinn, he's very adventurous. He's very brave. So Quinn gets hurt a lot, despite Teeny's best efforts to keep him from getting hurt all the time. Quinn is just an adventurous ninja. Wouldn't you say Quinn is an adventurous ninja? He just thinks he can fly and jump off I don't know about Ninja, he's like the most clumsy, adventurous kid. Like Jackson was like a mountain goat. He would be adventurous and land on his feet. He would like hit every branch on the way down climbing a tree. He just likes to have fun. He's like confident in his abilities. You're very cute. Yeah, you are cute, Quinn. So he gets hurt a lot, so I was like, I'm getting him a, a bubble ball so that he cannot get hurt when he plays at my house. Jeannie? Yes. Let's go find some more worms. Oh my god, those Cheetos gave me so much energy. <laughs> Wait. I know, but a bunch of worms. We need shovels. Not over there, over here. I'm about to get so 
Have fun. So I bought Flynn bug bed sheets and a bunch of bug like stuffed animals. And I surprised him with all that tonight on his bunk bed and he was so excited. It was very cute. So that was very exciting for me. Uh, it was a lovely family day. I just hung out with my kids all day long. It was awesome. And now it's 9.30 and I'm gonna start working on the live show because I start tour this week. If you're in Florida, these are the shows to go to. Orlando, Jacksonville, and Tampa are this week, this weekend. So make sure to get your tickets and then Thousand Oaks, California, please come see the show. It's a fun one. I'm changing some stuff up. Tonight I'll be doing most of that. But in the next few days, and I'm really excited about the stuff I'm changing and adding and tweaking and um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So please come see me live if you would like. But before I start working on the live show, I think I'm gonna answer some Tortilla Talk questions because I'm in my Tortilla Talk hoodie. So let me look some up. Okay, so the top comment on my last vlog was, I don't know how to say it. It's AU with a bunch of dots on top of it that I don't know because I'm a dumb American. But it says, Ay, Barb. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. Anyway, Barb said, It's so amazing to see these giggly, happy, rambunctious babies tearing through all their toys like little whirlwinds when just a year ago, Colina was on here stressing over keeping them fed and getting them to sleep and making time for Flynn and adjusting to all the changes that came with becoming a mother of three. Just one year later and look how they're thriving. You're doing great, mama. I thought this comment was so sweet. I also was like, I'm still doing all of that. <laughs> it's obviously much different, way different than it was a year ago because now it feels more like this is my normal life. Whereas a year ago, it was just like all new to me having baby twins home that were fresh home from the hospital, even though they were two months old and adjusting to like having Flynn have all my attention 24 seven to like having to shift that. But I still feel like I struggle with the exact same thing, stressing over keeping them fed, getting them to sleep and making time for Flynn and adjusting to all the changes that came with becoming a mother of three. I feel like I literally am still dealing with that. I'm still dealing with like the mom guilt of like spending equal amounts of time with each kid and making sure they all have the love and attention that they deserve from me at all times and making sure they're all learning and eating and sleeping and staying healthy. Like all of it is very overwhelming and very, very stressful. So I still stress about the same things, but at least now the twins are a year old and big and healthy. Whereas when they first came home from the hospital, I was still pretty traumatized from the NICU experience. So I don't have that hanging over my head, which is good. That's the biggest difference that a year has made is that like, I don't have that looming over my head anymore, but I'm still very stressed and I'm still very anxious about everything when it comes to motherhood. It's like, I feel like I never know what I'm doing and I'm struggling to stay alive and to stay afloat, but I guess that's just kind of what being a mom is. I like this question. Julia said, Tortilla Talk question. When you first told Flynn the twins names, what did he think of them? Did he like them or want to name them anything else other than Buttis or John, of course. Love you so much, Colleen. So yes, he did want to name them Buttis and John when I was pregnant. I forgot about that. So thank you for reminding me. That's one of the reasons I love my vlogs too, is you guys remind me of stuff that complete, I have a horrible memory. Like truly, I think of everyone that I know on this earth, I have worst memory than anybody. Like I don't remember anything ever. I have the worst memory. It's awful. But um, I love that I share so many moments of my life and you guys always remind me of things that I've had completely forgotten. I forgot about that. So that was a nice reminder. Flynn didn't have much reaction to the name Maisie and Wesley. Like he didn't think really anything of it. They were just like the babies to him. However, we were pretty confident we wanted to name the boy Wesley when I was pregnant because we loved the name, but we weren't hundred percent until we had Flynn say the names. So one night we were talking about all the different names that we liked and we were like, let's ask Flynn about the name. So we just said, Flynn, can you say Wesley? Can you can you say Maisie? Can you say Alice? Can you say, like, we said all the names that we were thinking about. And when he said Wesley, Eric and I were like, oh, it's done. Like it's a done deal. It was so cute. The way he said Wesley, I, just, I remember that vividly. I remember that moment of Flynn saying Wesley and Eric and I just be like, oh, it's done. You, that has to be his name. We still weren't a hundred percent on the name Wesley until he was born, but like, we were like pretty positive. SS Erickson said, I'm a moose stan. I just love how he sits by Colleen and hangs out so placid and content. More Moose energy for me in 2023, please. Truly, Moose is an angelic perfection, just lump of joy. I love that dog so much. He is truly a gem. Like, I am confident there's no better dog on this earth than Moose. Like, I'm very confident. I can say that confidently. Like, no offense to your dogs out there. I'm sure you all have wonderful dogs. I'm sure you think you have the best dog in the world. I, I'm sure you know this to be true, but like, you haven't met Moose. Like, Moose is literally the best dog on this planet 
and he needs to live for eternity. Like I can't ever have anything happening to that dog. He is just perfect and I love him so much. And he genuinely like what you see in the vlogs, like it really is him. Like he's just like loves to just be around me and Corey and just will like lay with us and cuddle us and like just wants to be a part of everyone. And he's so gentle and so kind and so patient and so just sweet and loyal and just wonderful. Like he's just wonderful. I love him so much. And most of the comments are about the babies giggling because my last vlog was about there's a lot of footage of the babies giggling and some people were like oh yes queens babies giggling all the time and they do laugh a lot and it's really really fun like they are just really really happy kids they're really happy babies they love to giggle and their laughs are so contagious and they're so funny and unique like Maisie's laugh is so unique I've never heard a baby laugh like her before like the way she laughs that like deep throat like <laughs> like that like weird I don't know what it is but it's just so cute and then Wesley's laugh is just so cute, sweet and cute and just oh you can tell he like he loves to laugh so much that he like tries to force out laughing they're so sweet but what's funny about the twins and they're both like this and Flynn was not like this they are a hundred percent one way or the other I feel like Flynn had colic when he was a baby and then once he got out of the colic stage he was pretty much just like a happy kid a happy baby a sweet happy little guy but it was like you know he had his ups and downs he had his hard moments and his happy moments but he was like generally like just a pretty happy kid Maisie and Wes are like they're either the happiest child you've ever seen in your life like you're just like wow why are you just smiling and giggling and happy the whole entire day like just the happiest human being you've ever seen or they're not like it's not like you have a day where it's like oh they're kind of up and down like oh they're okay for an hour and then they're happy for an hour and then they're not so happy no it's like one or the other like it's either the happiest child you've ever seen in your life or they're having a hard day and they're just like not happy at all especially Maisie Wes is like that too but like Maisie's really like that like you see Maisie laughing and giggling in a vlog I promise you she was doing that the entire day like the whole day she was just happy and smiling and talking if you don't see Maisie much in a vlog it's because she was grumpy that day <laughs> she's there's no in between Flynn wasn't really like that as a little baby and a little toddler but Wes is kind of like that too like but what's good about the twins is they switch off so like if Wes is having an off day Maisie will have a great day and if Maisie's having an off day Wes is having a great day like they kind of switch off it's very rare that I have two extremely sad babies but I do get two really happy babies sometimes which is really awesome anyway I'm going to go get some work done but thanks for watching everybody I love you send me tortilla talk questions in the comments below ask me whatever you'd like and we can have a little chit chat tomorrow um but i'm for now i'm gonna try to just get work done on my show so hi daisy hi daisy come here come here my little monkey all right good night everybody